In today's video, I bought an insane Starlight Rare Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection purchase. In this one, it's a pretty small collection, but I bought some really amazing cards. So before that, we're gonna do a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, an original Maneater Bug, Maha Vilo, and then a first edition DD Warrior Lady for those GOAT decks out there. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know what you think about this collection. I'm excited to see the cards. All right, I'm gonna open this up. I bought this from a guy who, uh, I'm not gonna spoil exactly what's in here, but he had several complete sets. And I was like, you know what? I only want some of these cards. And he's like, okay, that's cool. We can sell some of them. So I decided to get the best cards of all the sets that he had. So let's just show what exactly it was and get into this. All right, this is not a very large collection. This is, as you guys saw, it's a pretty small box, but inside there's some pretty awesome cards. I think they're all top loaded up, which is pretty nice to see. So we're gonna try and get these out of the packages. Okay, so the sets that he had were complete sets from every set in 2018 and 2019, I believe. So now you can kind of get an idea. Okay, it's from a newish set. So what was in there that you would want for collection? Let me know in the comments if you can guess what cards I would really want out of a 2018 and 2019 sets. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you guys through it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some time to leave a comment. But uh, first of all, you know, there's always OTS cards. So OTS, got ultimate rares in there. OTS 8 through OTS 12, something like that. Some pretty cool stuff. We've even bought one of these for my 1K purchase last year at Ultimate Rare. We're gonna go through these one at a time. I think this is the big ones that we're gonna get to. Then, if you guys know me, you know I don't really like 2018 very much. There is a nice card. Dengirsu, the Orcus of Evening Star. Still a pretty strong card, an Ultimate Rare from OTS 11, as you guys can see. So we'll be checking out some of these conditions, but first we're gonna go through the cards. We have a Galatea, the Orcus of Automation, automaton, automaton, there we go. That is how you say that card. Okay, then we have a Serpentine Dragon. This is a speed duel card. So these are, uh, I do have a lot of these. I haven't found, you know, who actually is interested in these cards. They're expensive, but I don't know who buys them. If you are someone who buys them, hit me up because I have a lot, but because uh, we opened a, a box of that and we got a bunch of them. Sky Striker is Hayate. Now this is a popular card. Sky Striker, obviously a very big archetype. People are big fans of it. Very nice ultimate rare there. Then we have a scapegoat ultimate rare. So not the collector rare scapegoat that we searched for, but the ultimate rare. This came out in OTS 8. Very nice. I've opened a lot of OTS packs over the years. We've pulled scapegoat a few times. Pretty nice. Carol Divorce is like, this is from 7, I think. Yeah, OTS 7. I remember picking up a whole play set of the OTS 7 ultimate rare. Some of my first OTS ulties ever. I got that on Instagram, I think. It was like 40 bucks for all of them or something. Maybe 60. I don't remember. It wasn't too bad. Okay, very cool. What else we got? We got, ooh, Cosmic Cyclone. So this is OTS 7 as well. Yeah, very nice looking Cyclone. I mean, that is beautiful, beautiful. Problem is, I'm going to want to keep a lot of these cards because currently I am kind of on a Yu-Gi-Oh deck building slash Master Duel kick, which whenever I get on that, I end up keeping way more cards than I need. You know, I start building decks, start keeping staples. And that's kind of the phase I'm in right now. I've been doing a lot of streams on Twitch right now doing master Duel and stuff like that go check it out we do three a week three streams a week every week for the rest of the year so go check it out fortress wheel more of the speed duel stuff speed duel two right yeah speed duel tournament pack two so you got tournament packs for speed duel we have a twin twisters this is seven as well no that's 12 okay twin twisters very nice card so staples being reprinted in ultimate rare you got like i'd love to see that it's very nice we have a sky striker is shizuku i think this is the best sky striker in terms of value yeah that's a, a nice looking one Sky Strikers, you love them or you hate them. There's no more Mystic Mind, so they can't run that anymore, which is nice. Uh, Solemn Judgment, very beautiful. There's a Ghost Rare, there's an Ultimate Rare. There's a lot of rarities for Solemn Judgment, but it's still a classic Metal Rages card. Still nice. I don't know if you guys have guessed what else, because we've seen basically OTS and Speed Duel so far. Droll and Lockbird, oh yeah, now we're talking. So they came out with the Collector Rare, but the Ulti, still the number one. Still the best card out there for the Droll. I think it's about 200 bucks right now, I'd have to guess. I mean, you guys will see it on the screen, but... Beautiful, beautiful card. We have a... Oh, and now you guys are seeing what we're talking about. Starlight Rares. The first ever Starlight Rares, because Starlight started in 2019. You might remember what is in those first couple sets of Starlight Rares. So we have a Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eyed. I'm gonna be checking out the conditions of the Starlights because I'm considering sending a bunch to get graded just for fun, like a nice video. What's up next? Ooh, an Unchained Twin, a Ruha. Shout out to Distant Coder right there. Starlight Rare. Beautiful Starlight. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. What else we got? We've got a Marincess Seahorse. 
first starlight ever from Rising Rampage, but there's also three other ones. So, <laughs> Ruins of the Seahorse, that's one of the first ones. Okay, very cool. Then we have a Win the Wind Charmer Verdant. Now, this is like a very expensive card. Now, we're talking big money. It is very windy outside. Wow. So, this is, this is a huge one. I thought it would be in the other package. That's a very big card. Okay. All right, let's check the wind. Let's see if the wind looks like it could be maybe sent in. Win the Wind Charmer Verdant. So, it looks pretty clean on the front. Honestly, it looks really good. It looks beautiful. Then we have a really clean back. Very nice. Looks nice. Speaking of wind, the wind charmer. Outside, the wind feels like it's going to blow my apartment over. It's insane. I don't know what's going on. I think they could sense the wind, which is interesting. Win the wind charmer. Then we have a... Speaking of big cards, Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess. So obviously this is one of the ones we wanted. So this is a huge card. Check the centering on it. If I do end up grading this, is it going to be able to get a 10? It's a little bit off center. But it's not terrible. But this is one of the first ones. So, I mean, it was like literally in the first set with Starlight Rares. I've never actually pulled this card. I've always wanted to. Apollosa, Bow of the God. Whoa, what do we got up here? Is that damaged? Oh no, this card is damaged. Oh, what happened to this thing? It's got a huge bend on it. It's got a, oh no, it's got like a fingernail in it. Like it got pulled out. <gasps> no, the Opelosa, that looks so bad. Wow, so the other ones were super clean and this one is not. Oh no, it looked good at first. And I was like, wait a second, is that a ripple? Oh no, that is so sad. All right, Opelosa. We, we negotiated with this at near mint price, so uh, he must have either missed this or something. Wow, because I know I didn't do this. I was very careful with this card. Wow, that, I mean, yeah, I definitely did. I mean, I didn't bend this corner at it. Yeah, wow, that is, that's unfortunate, okay. That's a bummer, because that's like the big one, the one that I've never really had. Okay, still an amazing looking card, but wow, that is, I didn't see that at first. When I first looked at it, I guess because it was on a top loader, but still, that's, yeah, that's unfortunate. We have a IP map. What is in here? I don't know. IP Mascarena. So we have pulled a couple of these before, but I've never actually graded them because I ended up selling mine raw, which is a little bit sad. Sometimes I wish I still had those. Starlight Rare, but you know, it was a, it's hard to resist selling a car when it's a thousand dollars raw, you know, uh, and that's kind of what happened. Now it's 1500, so I really should have, should have kept it. Centering looks pretty good. Surface looks, wow, looks really nice. So I think we'll probably grade these. That card looks really awesome. Obviously these were the big, the big two of the purchase. I mean, the win is also massive as well. This is still a big card. These three link cards, some of the first Starlight Rares ever made. They're insanely expensive. I might grade them just for a fun video because I do have some other Starlights I want to grade. We could do like the best Starlights ever graded. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. That'd be a really fun grading video. I think we'll do PSA for those versus CGC or anything. But now there's a couple more cards in here. I don't know what they are. I saw this and I thought this was the uh, the cards. Maybe this is like the cheaper versions. Okay, after five minutes to get that tape off, we finally did. We have a uh, Barrel Dragon, another wow, Ultimate Rare. I don't know why these are in uh, card savers. Don't love that, but glad they made it. They look like they're fine, so I don't think they got damage or anything. All right, then we have Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax Secret Rare. We have a Nightmare Corruptor E-Blade, the E-Blade Lock, and then a Delinquent Duo from Legendary Collection Kaiba. I didn't realize he had Legendary Collection Kaiba. I guess that came out then. 2018, maybe, is when it came out. We have Link Spider from, that's from 07. We got Black Cluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. That's pretty cool. And then Impermanence from Flood. That's awesome. Does that mean Ghost Bells in here somewhere? All right, last one. This should be... Oh, there's another Apollosa. I guess Ghost Bell is not in here. That's kind of weird because I thought that would have been here. Okay, I'm back because I realized that I missed some of the cards. I was like, some of these cards are not here. They were in there on the back of the top loaders. They were put with these sleeves, two cards per top loader. It's kind of difficult to get them out. Uh, usually when I double card in a top loader, I try to use penny sleeves because then they are not so tight. But I was able to get them out. I don't think anything got damaged. Amazon Swords Woman. So it's some good stuff that I missed. I was like... I know some of the Starlights are not in here. Here we go. Chaos Dragon Levianir, a classic from uh, OTS Tournament Pack 12. So I have to have these in here because these cards are too good to miss. Perfectly Ultimate Grey Moth. I mean, naturally, Perfectly Ultimate Grey Moth from the Pecanio Moth. I mean, of course. Number 90 Galaxy has Photon Lord. You might not know, but this card's like 40 bucks, I think. Last time I checked, it's ridiculous. Out of Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge. Then we got Pot of Desires, which is a nice Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 11. 
Storm Dragon's Return. Here's the one I was like, I was like, where is this card? Storm Dragon's Return. It's from Rising Rampage. It's a Starlight Rare. It's supposed to be in here. I got all the Rising Rampage Starlight Rares, all the Chaos Impacts. So where was it? Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is banned. It's still expensive. I literally have so many of these. So I'm just waiting for the, the unban. Uh, Salaman Great Pyro Phoenix Starlight Rare. So this is another Starlight that was missing. Very cool card for the Salaman Great people. I don't think a card's even that good. Uh, King of the Skull Servants, another speed duel. Elements of Stratos, another one that I was like, we invested in this one in our 1K opening, and it just wasn't here. There it is. Beautiful Star, or not Star, Ultimate Rare. And then a Sky Striker Ace Kagari, one of a classic Sky Striker cards. So I almost missed those, but I didn't, guys. Don't worry. I will not let you down. It is in the video. That's it for my awesome Starlight Collection pickup. I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, that Ophelos is a little bit of a bummer, but still an amazing card. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Mycycle, James Jantz, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and then the Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.